Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Footy's content is full on cooking right now in FC24, and yesterday's content was the last piece to the puzzle to prove it. The best icon player pick of Footy's, and it's basically free with the unlimited pack grind that we have at this time. But will EA hurt that craft today with the new Footy's player pick replacing our favorite 82 plus, or Will they just refresh the 82 plus? I think that's what we all want. But there's other content today and some other aspects of FC25 looking to next year that I want to talk about in today's video as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's go to yesterday's content and discuss everything that happened on a Sunday of FC24, starting with a brand new evolution, a paid evolution. But honestly, guys, I think this one's kind of sick because for playstyle pluses, this allows you to evolve players with maybe lower overalls that are still sat in your club or even maybe one of those promo cards that you're packing right now from a re-release goes into this footy, footy's free kick crown. Now, who's like? it's like, okay, do I really want dead ball plus on a player? Well, EA have spiced up the evolution to also give power shot, finesse, and a rapid. Three very, very useful playstyle pluses. Dead ball plus is still very usable as well. My favorite stat boost out of all of this is go here to the end plus 50 free kick accuracy. That's just kind of a wild stat. But honestly, when I look into my club, there are some decent cards here. I'm definitely doing this Kulusevsky for me. I knew I saved this card for like months and months and months for some reason. And this is it right here. This is the card that I'm definitely going to be doing from this. That card looks insane. And I'm glad that I saved that partially evoed version from him earlier in the year. Now, there are some really insane cards. Like this Inform Saka goes to a pretty crazy card for 75,000 coins. He is almost max price on the market. Who's surprised? Not me. This Phil Foden inform as well looks pretty crazy in here. I bet he's expensive. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cards. This Kang and Lee, if you kept him around, I have him in my club as well. That's a really insane card as well. So it's, yeah, 75,000 coins, but I think it might be worth 75k because of the playstyle pluses that it gives and the ability that you have to evolve maybe somebody who's a little bit lower rated. Maybe one of those cards that you are packing right now inside of the re-released promo items. So not bad, not amazing, but for me, that Kulosevsky is insane. So that's kind of what I'm enjoying about Evos at the moment is the cards that are insane that it can create from my favorite clubs, my favorite nation, trying to make the nation squad as well, the USA team. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on with Evos is as much fun as possible. Now let's go to SBCs because... We had another icon SBC yesterday, Robin Van Persie. He was leaked and he was dropped. Left wing, though, they're still going with the position changes here. They didn't position change Butra. Butra is a striker, right? Like, they didn't position change him, but just like a Billy and Kaka, we have a Robin Van Persie who is now left wing, left wing back, which is a position change for him, and you can especially tell when you look at the stats on the card. Now, just to preface, I think this SBC is a little bit mid. I think a lot of people would agree. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills. You always think of Van Persie as a striker. Well, he's got 97 dribbling, 94 passing, and 95 pace, but he has 82 physical and 67 aggression. Honestly, if his physical was a little higher, and if this aggression was like mid-80s to 90 rated, like everything else is in this card and this end game time of the year, this would be a really insane left mid, left wing back, kind of like he is. But that aggression stat being where it is is not very good. High medium work rates as well. He's got the whipped pass plus, the rapid, like he could be a decent fun card, but I really think this SBC is only for those that really just want Van Persie himself in their team. It's just another kind of okay, interesting, weird, maybe you would describe it as as well, card. 240,000 coins. It's eight squads. It's not quite the Van Persie that I was maybe hoping for, as mentioned in yesterday's video, hoping for something kind of like Butra Gueno, where it was like, you know, an SBC that's really insane. And we have days and days to craft, and it's actually a lot of squads that's worth crafting. He really does not fit that description at all, but at least he's cheap. So if you're interested in that Van Persie right there, go ahead and get it done. Drop the match alone. I mean, eight squads, that's 240k. Again, with the craft, pretty much free. Just like the big SBC from yesterday, the 93 plus greats of the game, footy's team one or two icon player pick. Guys, this player pick is awesome. Like, yes, thank you. Again, EA Sports. I feel like this is the third 
third day in a row where we're saying yes EA thank you for the 84 times 10 for this icon pick and then Friday's content as well GG's like that is really footies is cooking man for real and this icon pick is really a part of that as well it's a good promo when you have player picks and a crafting upgrade you've got a repeatable upgrade pack decent player SBCs and an icon player pick or something like this that is multiple time repeatable at least it's going to refresh in the middle of the week and like again i know the grades of the game luck from this probably has to be pretty high let's be honest right their grades of the games were really packable from that pack that was dropped last week but the fact that footies team one and team two are in this and it's 93 plus is a huge w so it's only two squads and 88 89 you do need a team in the season but again it's virtually free in this state of the grind of the craft and i love the chance at you know the pele technically the jarzinho technically you could pack them from this the dino the r9 still from greats of the game coming in at 142,000 coins we all know it's basically free though as i mentioned sign me up i will be doing every single one of these this week it's going to refresh again on wednesday i believe that is usually when the 93 plus or whatever icon pick or pack is out that's usually when it refreshes it'll refresh on wednesday it'll refresh again next saturday so we can do this a total of six times in the next week that's nice we like it i'll probably try to do all six because of the uh, state of the menus at the moment so i absolutely love that now speaking of a big sbc like that you probably got fodder moving as well right absolutely you do did anybody buy team of the seasons last night because they went back up again team of the seasons were all the way down to as we saw in the video the high 30s like 37 38k is kind of where they chilled out and yeah actually right now they're back down to about 40,000 coins but i do believe that all team of the season cards went back up above 45k which was kind of the price when we invested in todd's cards last week on Wednesday, Wednesday night and Thursday morning, we were looking for that like low to mid 30,000 coin threshold. I was saying that 45K was my target price. Boom. We hit that yesterday. And if you missed out, you didn't sell your TOTS cards yet. I would say this is the beginning of the sell window. That content dropped yesterday. You can start to sell some of your TOTS cards if you want to. Just basically sell them before Wednesday. That's the easy time to sell these cards because on Wednesday, they're going to get supplied again. They're going to drop again. And we'll probably invest again, right? So this is just the daily occurrence of these tots cards right 38,000 coins for dewsbury hall up to 46,000 coins and that was basically the same fluctuation for all these team of the seasons i would virtually uh i would assume that virtually all the tots cards moved as well now they're at different price points how much are tots moments the tots moments are 35 36,000 coins so i'm sure some of those are a little higher around content and a little bit lower last night so definitely 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 get involved with some of those flips you can even maybe buy tots like right now early morning and sell them after content if you still have those the best time to sell of course as you can see is after the content drop when everybody's getting on and opening those uh packs and then doing the sbcs which they need tots cards for now let's talk about the other part of the fodder market really quick the golds because they spiked yesterday as well 84s 1.1k on bid minimum price 1.2 they were up at 1.8k which some of them are back at right now and 85s i think actually 85s had some of the best movements yesterday they were at minimum price 2.2 went all the way to 3,000 coins so those went up almost a thousand coins a card so i would suggest if you're going to try to flip any specials today or sorry any gold fodder I'd look at 84s and 85s and maybe focus on the 85s. Really just depends on the SBC that we have today. But I'd focus on the 84s and 85s because we might have another player pick today if one gets re-released like we had a couple of weeks ago that could require an 85 rated squad. And that would mean that those cards are probably going to go up a little bit. Even though you guys say, and we all know, fodder is free at the moment. People will buy those cards off the market because there's a lot of hype around footies. A lot of people are playing this game at the moment and they want to do every single SBC that is possible. Now, speaking of the grind and the craft, I want to speak on this just for a moment before we go back to the market, right? Right now in this game, if you're struggling for coins, there are free coins literally in some of these upgrade packs that are tradable. If you're like, Nate, I don't want to do any player species right now, or I've done the player species I want to do. I just want to collect some coins. Make sure you are doing every week the team of the week tradable pack and the tots tradable pack because between those two right there you're literally getting 80 to 90 thousand coins depending on when you sell at the minimum like 80k minimum for doing both of these two sbcs with the leftover excess fodder that you have they both refresh on wednesday as well so you can make basically 
If you haven't done it yet, you could do 160K. You could do it today. Then you could do it on Wednesday again. That's easy coins every single week. The other SPC I want to shout out is the 83 plus team of the week player pick. Since there's so many special cards in packs, doing this SBC with your duplicate goals. Like if you're opening player picks, you get a duplicate 85. If you have some other 83s and 82s in the club, just literally go and do this SBC with those dupes because you can pack tradable players from the promo team and just easily sell them or quick sell them on uh, for coins right away. It is like you really your coins are going to go up without even doing anything if you're doing the tradable SBC packs. You could even venture into league SBCs if you really wanted to, but I think honestly these are the easiest SBCs to do. Like boom, I do this right here. I go open this team league player pick. I just got a tradable mixed players pack, which you may not think is much, but it'll actually over time pay out and they'll give you some pretty good coins so let me go to the store really quick I'm, i doubt i'm gonna get a special card from this but just to show you how it could work i think on friday when we were streaming and doing this and crafting like i packed tradable cards that were good stuff small electron players pack all right first one for me there's no special there, but you get the idea, right? You're going to make a little bit of coins back from these golds. I keep everything except if it's a duplicate. You're going to pack specials from doing this if you continue to do it over and over. This is also a shout for marquee matchups. Make sure you do your marquee matchups. I think it's a bronze, unfortunately. So you're not going to get a special every single time, but your chances are very inflated with what is out in packs right now. But just all the tradable packs you can get from SBCs, you could really make some good coins at the moment. So that's the point that I wanted to make there. Now, talking about prices, talking about footies cards a little bit here, prices are down bad on these, but kind of as expected, right? Like we had the icon pick yesterday that a lot of people probably went and sold some cards to go and afford. That's a really common occurrence, right? Especially if you played FIFA, played Ultimate Team, played FC for a long time, you know, whenever good icon picks come out, it crashes the market. Every year we look toward to the the first icon upgrade pack of the year, which usually drops like sometime around Black Friday or a little bit before that, because it always makes the market drop because people sell cards to go and do those new icon packs, right? Lewa, 1.1 million coins. He's now 824K. That's a crazy price drop in one day. Pele, bro, was literally 15 mil. 15 mil yesterday dropped all the way down to 9.2. He is rising back up. He's really rare. He's probably going to stay around 10 unless he has some more panic. Hansen was at like 12 mil. She's now 7 million coins. And even some of the middle tier to lower tier cards, Cantona is still dropping. Footpin has got some cards missing here in the squad. I'm noticing that. But like Rolfo is 1.3. She was 1.6, 1 1.7 1 yesterday. Foot.gg is not getting all these prices loaded incorrectly, unfortunately. Um, Alan St. Maximin is only 160k. Pele is 900,000 coins. This is also happening to the re-release cards, right? Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, when I packed him on Friday, he was like four or 500k. And what was he yesterday? He started at 340 and is now, he was 280. Yeah, he's 282, 90 at the moment. So like all of your re-release cards from batch number two as well are really just getting cooked in price. But I think that's going to continue today. I really do. Mondays have not been good days for the market um, in the past couple of weeks, which is not a big surprise. Neymar, of course, dropping a lot. Saturday went down to 1.3. Yesterday, 1.26. Kind of rebounded the back a little bit, but like this Neymar is going to end up being under a million coins. If not this week, he will be by this, this Friday when he gets re-released, when there's more lightning rounds and store packs that are out for the new footies cards. So that's just uh, something to be wary of right now in this game is that the footies cards and especially the cards that are re-releasing packs probably going to continue to slowly dip down in price if you want to buy a card i will tell you this like this rolfo on uh foot.gg she was 1.3 looks like she's 1.4 right now actually going up a little bit these guys will have fluctuations and they'll have good opportunities to trade but i think there's a lot less demand for people to buy these cards at the moment just because why would you when you've got like so many other insane cards literally at your fingertips for free on the market impacts through the crafting grind. So that's kind of the state of the market at the moment. But guys, the footies grind, we've said it all the time, right? In this video, and you guys know, the footies grind is super elite. It is insane. Um, the one thing I do want to say though is, well, first, before we get that, just to glaze this a little bit more, right? Just to be honest, it's a slight glaze, but it's a deserved glaze, to be fair. Mad content and SBCs, mad content and objectives with the champs evo. The evolutions have been solid and sure lacking maybe a little bit, but it's it's the it's the pack grind with all the cards that are in packs that just makes this elite. And you guys know this, but just be careful while doing some of this, right? The SBC bans. A lot of people have been messaging me and saying, Nate, I just got SBC banned from doing the crafting upgrade, from doing a bunch of player picks. 
picks. Like just be careful when you're doing a lot of player picks at once, because if you're sitting down and you're doing it, also people using those extensions and stuff like that to get it done faster, um, you know, that's even added risk on top of everything, in my opinion. Um, then you could get SBC banned and that could mean that you're not doing SBCs for more than like 24 hours. Like people get SBC banned and they're not able to complete any SBCs for 24, 48 hours. It gets kind of crazy. So just be very careful when you're doing that to avoid an SBC ban. If you're going to sit down and do a bunch of player picks or a bunch of the crafting upgrade, just switch between console, then maybe go to the web app for a little bit after like, you know, 30 or 40 SBCs or something like that. And then maybe play a game in between, take some breaks, right? Because you can get SBC banned and that's just more of an annoying thing. It's annoying that there's a limit but i guess it's you know to try to prevent people who are using bots and stuff that are going to run up the sbcs that ea don't want for whatever reason so that's kind of one thing i did want to say because I, I know a lot of you guys have been mentioning that uh but at the moment by all means you know we have all these player sbcs right the people like ah oh, mid 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 and to be honest most of them are but it's so many fun footies cards if there's somebody from your club somebody from your nation of where you are something that hits you in the fields even if it's like a fifa legend it's or if it's just for fun like mcguire or maybe it's for fun like the duos with kanu and okocha just do what is going to bring you the most fun in this game right now same thing with evos as well right it's all about the fun that is what this end game footies promo is all about enjoying kind of the game um at a rate where we're never really able to until it's the end game and they have all these cards that are out in packs all the promos worth of stuff that has dropped throughout the year kind of a, a rundown memory lane as well and just the fun that it is like just enjoy it for what you enjoy the most out of the game if it's trading then get on the investments if it's um doing the weekend league challenges and getting the extra packs there and having fun with all the cards that you've packed during tots and then during team of the tournament and festival of football then do that if it's just simply sifting through the menu and feeling like you're packing a special card in every single pack, then heck yeah, get involved with the 82 plus picks, the crafting upgrade and all that. Just do what makes you have the most fun right now in the game for sure. Now, with the craft and with everything that we have had on this game, looking forward to this week and starting off today, a Monday on a good note, the craft has set us up well for good content that could continue to come out this week that we would want to continue to grind, right? But... We know that things usually are pretty high in terms of the intensity and how good the content is on the weekend, and then we slow down a little bit during the week. Let's talk about that today, guys, because this is the SPC right here. It's the 82 plus player pick. Goes away today. We love this thing. I've been doing these on the weekend instead of the footies crafting upgrade because they're just kind of better. And I'd rather wait and save these crafting upgrades just in case the 81 plus player pick comes back, which is what we expect today. That one of four 81 plus, they're annoyingly required three rares. And if they do that, having the crafting upgrade available is going to make that do it, that SBC a lot easier to do because you'll have more rares. So that's one thing I've been saving these crafting upgrades for. And of course, the objectives that go alongside of that. But I do believe we'll get the 81 plus pick today just because EA keep flip flopping those back and forth. If they wanted to be oh so nice and just re-release the 82 plus pick we would love that but i don't think that's the only player pick that's going to be coming today i also think we're going to get the 86 plus player pick this happened and dropped the last time we had the 81 plus which actually was a welcomed surprise it was an 85 rated squad requirement for this sbc which is why i mentioned the 84s and the 85s earlier on if you want to invest a little bit there but that one was nice because higher rating guarantee, more opportunity to pack some higher rated cards, especially with the footies out and the batch too. So that should be dropping today as well. Hopefully we see that. And then of course, we're looking for a player SBC, right? Now I got to say this guys, of course, the player SBCs at the moment, beside a few have been pretty mid, right? I think, I just got to think that between now on Monday and Friday, we get another SBC that is Butra-esque and that is like 10 to 15 squads or more an expensive SBC and that a lot of people want to go and craft because it's an actually genuinely really really good card that's the type of SBC that I'm hoping for and it maybe it's a regular footies player right again we have memories of Furlan Mendy regular footies card that's the type of SBC that we're looking forward to I think there's going to be an SBC today there's no leaks for it right now but Romania has been leaking these just about every single day that we get SBCs 
So why be watching out for something like that? With our luck, we're probably going to finally get this Raheem the Dream Sterling or the Carvalho card. Somehow, maybe these two will be released as an SBC. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know how EA dropped a card on Friday. Now it's not searchable in concepts any longer, but he was literally in the game Friday. It's a concept card. Nowhere to be able to obtain him through SBCs, objectives, whatever. He was nowhere to be found. But he's still added to he's still on footbin. He's not in the code anymore, like inside of the game. I looked in concepts, he was not there. But like it, it means it's gonna be coming soon. Somebody messed up with Sterling and Carvalho, I think, pressing the wrong buttons or whatever. We gotta be getting one of these guys soon. I hope he's not one of the SBC players today, because this to me is another one of those like Harry Maguire, 115, 150, somewhere in there, thousand coin SBC that's just kind of like Eh, it's okay, you know, so I hope we get something bigger something better another SBC card to craft That is what we're hoping for so I think that that would come between today and Friday But I wouldn't necessarily expect it today now the last thing I do expect today because it's well It's kind of guaranteed is FC 25 news guys. We've got the rush deep dive It's kind of odd that they're doing a deep dive on a Monday. Usually they don't start off the week with this sort of uh, news and info, usually they kind of do it a little bit later. But this one I'm genuinely excited for because, guys, this game mode I think is it's the biggest thing coming to FC25. It's going to change the way I think that we see fun on the game. It, it has a lot of fun vibes to it. So I'm excited to, to read more about it today and see, like, especially some of the finer details. How long those pitch notes were for the gameplay deep dive. I'm really, really interested to see how long this one is, how much they tell us about it, some of the specific intricacies of maybe how it's going to integrate with Ultimate Team specifically in terms of rewards, able to do evolutions inside of it, which they did confirm. Same thing with objectives. So I'm, some of that stuff is what I'm really interested in. Also, learning about rush points because that seems to be some sort of currency that you earn in this mode, but it doesn't seem to have a direct coin value. It's more of like how we had the moments stars kind of thing thing we'll just have to see i'm really really excited to learn more about that today we're going to be watching that on stream hopefully if we can get on early enough in time and then if not we'll either be covering it here on the main channel or on the second channel in a separate video with all of the news and the info that they drop on that trailer and on the pitch notes that come alongside of it tomorrow so be on the lookout for that because that one's i think that's the biggest announcement for sv25 in my opinion that's massive so i'm really excited for that one but what i'm also excited for is to get back on stream today i know i didn't stream yesterday i mentioned the video that i was going to but just really needed the day off with the misses it was a really really busy day had a lot of things going on so I'm excited to get back to the grind today. I have weekly games to play, and my pack look is just chucked because I'm only packing gold cards from 85 doubles. Yeah, I need to get back into the grind, guys. I got 160 crafting upgrades to do weekly games, as I mentioned, and a whole lot of other crafting to do. Look at one more. Do I have an 8410? Oh, absolutely. I do. One of these for the boys. Last one of the video. There's my special card. It's Dutch. Striker. Icon. Um, Hello? Van Persie, yeah, he's got an SBC. And Kuti Romero, my Spurs goat. All right, cold. I'll take that. Any other specials inside of the pack? Because we're here for multiple. We get Rickon. All right, that's just all right. But we're going to open a bunch more of those today on stream. I got my five a day done. We'll get five more tomorrow for the 84 times 10s. And we'll be ripping and hitting these footies cards, hopefully. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. That link's down below in the description. Have a great Monday. It's been Day Through Count. See you later. Peace out.